Warsaw 1943, Gaza 2023 The Historical Outing of Israeli and Western Fascism. Published, October 13, 2023. What we are seeing in Gaza is comparable to the Warsaw Uprisings in 1943. The Israeli state response of collective punishment and indiscriminate slaughter of subhumans is equivalent to the crimes of the Nazi regime. The world is witnessing yet another brutal phase of genocide against the Palestinian people, a genocide that has been going on relentlessly for 75 years, since the dubious inception of the Israeli state in 1948. Incredibly, the vast crime against Palestine got underway only three years after Nazi horrors were vanquished. The culpability of Western colonialism imperialism, primarily that of the British and the Americans, for the ensuing genocide in Palestine remains significant to this day. In response to a large-scale violent assault by Hamas militants beginning on October 7, the Israeli state has unleashed an indiscriminate bloodbath on the Palestinian civilian population in Gaza. U.S. President Joe Biden and his top officials this week gave explicit permission to the Israeli regime of Benjamin Netanyahu to do whatever it wants in revenge for the Hamas attacks. British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has likewise pledged military support for Israel. It is blood-curdling to contemplate the mass murder and suffering the Western powers are facilitating. Israeli leaders openly declared cutting off all basic necessities, food, water, and fuel. A warning has been given for over one million Palestinians to evacuate within 24 hours or face extermination. Evacuate to where? They already subsist in open-air concentration camps called Gaza and the West Bank. All civilian deaths are abhorrent and should be avoided at all costs. The attacks by Hamas militants resulted in 1,400 Israeli deaths. Over the past week, the same number of Palestinians have been killed in reprisals by Israeli state forces. It is feared that the Palestinian death toll will increase dramatically in the coming days as the Israeli military is mounting an invasion of Gaza. Biden and senior U.S. government figures, Secretary of State Antony Blinken, and Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin pledged to supply Israel with whatever weaponry was needed. Washington said it would not place any conditions on how this military firepower was used, meaning that Israel has a license to kill indiscriminately. Already, Israeli airstrikes have obliterated residential blocks. The European Union has also given a green light to the Israeli mass killing. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen flew to Israel this week in a show of solidarity, along with the US officials. In all the hypocritical expressions of horror and grief for Israel, Biden, von der Leyen, and other Western leaders have not offered even token words of concern about Palestinian civilians being slaughtered. That silence speaks volumes about the callous, bloodthirsty, and criminal attitude of Western leaders. Appallingly, the scene is being set for a genocidal onslaught by the Israeli state against the Palestinians with full Western state complicity. Even the ghoulish rhetoric is a grim warning of what is to come. Israeli officials are openly disparaging the Palestinian animals and American politicians are calling for Palestinian territory to be razed to the ground. This disgusting rhetoric even while Palestinian children are being ripped apart by one-ton bombs. As usual, the nauseating justification for Israeli state terrorism invokes the Nazi Holocaust against European Jews. The obscene perversion of such rationale is that the 75-year oppression of Palestinians is in a similar category to Nazi crimes. The United States and its European allies have sponsored nearly eight decades of ethnic cleansing of Palestinians from their homeland by the brutal colonizing state of Israel. Palestinians have been dispossessed, murdered, and imprisoned with impunity. Western governments and their media have turned a blind eye to this appalling genocide which includes incarcerating children and shooting of peaceful protesters. As Russian President Vladimir Putin pointed out this week, the United States and its Western partners have propagated a charade of peace mediation for decades which has been nothing but a cover for continued annexation of Palestinian lands and violation of their fundamental human rights. Putin rightly concluded that Washington is fully culpable for the disaster in the Middle East. 
The uprisings by Palestinians over the decades stem from the inalienable right to resist against an oppressor. And every resistance has habitually been annihilated by the Israeli state with American military power and political countenance, at the United Nations. But with biblical-like karma the Israeli state is systematically diseased from corruption and injustice. The gangster-like regimes, laughably referred to as the only democracy in the Middle East, oversee an apartheid system that is untenable and unsustainable. The vineyard has become a wasteland of thorns. The latest uprising by Hamas, has exposed the shaky foundations of the Israeli state. There will be dreadful revenge exacted over the coming days on the Palestinian population. But the damage inflicted to Israel's image and that of its Western state supporters is beyond repair. The fascist face of Israel is evident for all the world to see, as is that of its Western supporters. Public protests in Europe, and the United States against Israeli violence are being banned. Western media are condemning anyone who criticizes the Israeli regime and seeks to explain the historical background to the latest atrocities and how the conflict might be justly resolved. Western governments and their media are being exposed as fascistic. The consistency here is that these same institutions and people support a Nazi regime in Ukraine tasked with fighting a proxy war for the US-led NATO axis against Russia. Only a few weeks ago, the Canadian Prime Minister and his Parliament along with the Ukrainian President saluted a Ukrainian Waffen SS veteran with a standing ovation. The Israeli regime never stops invoking the Nazi Holocaust as an emblem for its supposed moral credentials. The cynical fraud here is sickening. The Israeli regime has behaved like the Nazis in its genocide against Palestinians. So when Western states support Israel and the Ukrainian regime there is an actual total consistency, as there is when the Kiev junta expresses solidarity with Tel Aviv and vice versa. Only the constant misinformation and lying by the Western corporate media obscures the glaring connection. It is worth remembering that Marek Edelman, one of the surviving leaders of the Jewish uprising in the Warsaw Ghetto against the Nazis, always condemned the Zionist Israeli state. Throughout his later life, before he died in 2009 at the age of 90, Edelman expressed solidarity with the Palestinian resistance and he deplored Israeli state aggression. What we are seeing in Gaza is comparable to the Warsaw uprisings in 1943. When people are desperately oppressed, desperate things happen. The Israeli state response of collective punishment, and indiscriminate slaughter of subhumans is equivalent to the crimes of the Nazi regime. The official Western response to the upsurge in violence over Gaza is akin to condemning Jews for resisting the Nazi Holocaust. The Palestinians should be supported in their just cause of liberation, peace, and national rights. The collective West is very much part of the problem of recurring violence and conflict. Always was, always will be, until ended. This podcast was brought to you by BG Media App and BarGlobal.net. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. It does help support our productions. Also, please download the BG Media App to access the best works of the world's authors rendered in audiobooks, along with great experience through music, podcasts, and vodcasts. Thank you.